In this video, I will show you how to change the internal battery in this Dodge Journey key fob. Uh, this key fob was started uh, on journeys back in 2011 and is still used today. And it takes just, whoops, it takes just one of these CR2032 batteries. It's really easy to open this thing up and put a new battery in there yourself. All you will need is a flathead screwdriver and of course one of these batteries. If you'd like to pick one of those up online, I have left a link in the description so you can get yourself a battery on Amazon for just a couple of bucks. So go ahead and click on that and then uh, just follow along with me here. First step, flip this thing over, pull this switch down, and remove your internal key. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we can see the keyhole and just opposite that, a little slot, a little indentation. Go ahead and put your flathead screwdriver in that area above the keyhole there and just gently twist. Okay, just gently twist until you feel a little bit of a snap and you will see that you are starting to open this thing up. Now I like to go in that opening and just twist. Continue working my way down, twisting, twisting until it comes apart like that. Now we can just go under with our flathead screwdriver or our fingernail and just kind of lift up the battery and it will pop out like that. There we go, 2032, you can see it. Take a new one, make sure this positive side goes face down, just like that. And you just want to click it into place and the rest is very simple. We're just going to click this back together. It takes a bit of effort, but you just squeeze until the whole uh, opening along the seam is closed. Don't forget to put your internal key back in and that is all it takes. It's really that simple. Uh, if you found this video helpful, feel free to give us a like or a comment. And for more information on key, changing the, the batteries for any of your key fobs from any make or model, uh, check out the rest of the videos here on YouTube or visit us at fobbattery.com. Thank you for watching.